Oh, there it is. The diesel Land Cruiser. 13 years after it was put back onto the road. I use the term road loosely. The old diesel powered wonder that somehow just seems to keep on going. It's now been back in trail duty about as long as it was sitting idle, sinking into the ground over there, which is about 300 yards that way. Now it's currently doing a pretty good job at sinking back into the earth. It's heavy enough to do so. That's about two years worth of sinkage right there. But two years of sitting for this thing, ah, that's nothing. It's like a long weekend. Per usual, it's been stored in its climate controlled storage area. It was properly laid up with some support wheels jammed under the leaf springs to try and keep the tires from smashing too much when they went flat. Gotta see if there's any dump bees in here. I'm trying to victim before we start trying to run it. Oh yeah, that's right, it won't open from the outside. Eh. Door's getting less and less support. Something's chewing on that rag. And I don't see any massive dump bee infestations. Oh yeah, that was on there because the seat's held down with a strap. Yeah, I forgot. Last time I actually did a bit of cleanup on it. Got some of the structural dirt and rust off the floorboards there, which opened up some ventilation. Brake fluid, floor patch. Get them raccoons out of there. All right, so we'll give the old Miracle Mill a once over here and get ready to throw some batteries in it, air up the tires check the fluids and see if we can light this thing off. As usual that one tires flat. On tank number two trying to get this tire filled up. Might be wishful thinking but we'll see what it does. I think it actually might be taking some. Might not be pooped. <laughs> two four lug nuts are better than the three that was on it. Oh, you found another one? Yeah, there was one laying on the floorboards. Okay. Yeah. Everything seems to be holding in there. Radiator's a bit low, but it always is. Threw some fluid into the clutch master cylinder because it was bone dry. So we'll probably have to cut the, the clutch to bled out a little bit and working. Oil's good. That's about good enough. Time for a 10,000 mile road trip, I'd say. Yay, let's go. <laughs> All right, got two marginal batteries hooked up. See if the magic happens. All right. All right. Ugh. All right, yeah, let, let me know if you see any smoke out there. Hey. All right, we've got a light. We might have glow plugs even going. We'll see if it starts glowing. Oh yeah, I think we're in neutral. some glow plugs. Is that good smoke? It looks like it's exhaust is broken. Never fails. That's the glove box. 
I think there's an old cassette tape in there. Let's see if there's anything in there. Might be a dead bird. <laughs> Bugs for Mouse nest. Yeah. Mouse house. Hey, there's some more lug nuts if you need them. Us? Probably not. So right now we got the no clutch situation, but if you just keep pumping, I think eventually they'll come back. Starting to get pressure. It's like a code in Zelda. It's like four fast, two slow. And there we go, we got clutch. Ah, this thing was really stuck down in there. Might need a little bit more air in that tire. Well, we thought the tire was holding there, but it must have been a bunch of hot air because it's all gone now and uh, gonna have to pull that thing and try to fix it again. Ain't going nowhere like that. Manual steering does not appreciate flat front tires. All right, a whole bunch of tire sealant later and we're gonna put this thing back on there. Look at that, that rotor's still clean. Can't say the rest of it's clean, but, well, it's present. Ooh. Yeah, the clutch is slipping a little bit. Well, it's sticking. It's been sitting for a while. You really don't need the trails cleared. This thing does a pretty good job. Uh, kinda need both hands for steering though. Well, we're on a mission to try and find some new parts. And I don't know if you can tell what that is back there. It's another Land Cruiser. Now the dump bees are strong this year. So trying to be cautiously uh, alert to any angry buzzing, not just mosquitoes. Wow, you're a wrecked emblem. Oh no. Yeah, look at that. That is like mint. So, lots of other parts, but a mysterious lack of grab bars anywhere in here. Heck, maybe the wipers are good too. Could be. It's got aftermarket worn hubs on there. That's shock, man. Still got another 10,000 miles left in that. We're heading deep into the empire of rust, trying to find a grab bar. So far, no prime candidates yet. We've landed on Tire Island for now. Decent vantage point, still looking for a grab bar. Old bumper off the 12.3 looks promising, but it's pretty buried in there. Lots of motorcycle parts, lots of spiders. So we're out in the uh, Skidoo parking lot here, and what do we find?
I think we got ourselves a new O shit bar. I mean, you really don't need a press brake. I mean, this is what those guys on the Pakistani truck channel, they do it. All you really need is a hammer. Yeah, precision. Luckily, the patina matches. Otherwise, we'd hurt the resale value on this thing. Oh, yeah, there it is. Can't tell that from factory. And just like that, the old Land Cruiser is laid up again, and it's a very well protected long-term storage lot. Not forgotten about, and hopefully we'll be back and rocking it once again here.